Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back with another How to Draw video. You know, I've been doing a lot of videos lately that are about 10 or 15 minutes long. Um, some people just don't have that much time to watch a long video, so I'm going to try to make this one a lot shorter. We're going to be doing a quick video on how to draw the human ear. Um, let me begin by just drawing a face in profile. I'll do that all in time lapse, and then we'll get back to talking about the ear. <laughs> Okay, well, we've got the profile drawn, uh, and I have left the uh, ear blank. Now, I think this basic shape of the ear is maybe not all that hard for people to get right. Uh, it's the interior lines that get tricky. Now, I've taken uh, this drawing based on a, a photo of a human ear, and I feel that even though it looks very complicated, it can really be broken down into two basic lines. The first one that I want you to look at is this curving line right here. It's sort of a simple curly Q kind of a line. I'm going to splice in an image to help you focus and see what that line looks like. Okay, now that one is really not that hard. For me, there's really just a second line to focus on. It's this line right here. I'm going to show you, again, a spliced-in photo so that you can get a sense of what that shape is like, and then I want to give you a kind of a mnemonic device for remembering what that shape looks like. Okay, so what I call this is the thumbs down mitten. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous, but that's what I've come up with. Imagine a hand that's like in a mitten, so you don't see all the details of it. And the shape, I believe, that's the closest I can come to to describing it. It sort of looks like someone doing a thumbs down sign while wearing a mitten. Let me splice that in there again so you can have a closer look at it. All right, so you see what I'm talking about? Hopefully some of you do. That's the, my way of remembering what that shape looks like. So let's go ahead and zoom in here on this ear, and I'll show you how I can use that information to help me quickly draw uh, a decent-looking human ear. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with that kind of curly Q line that I feel is the easier of the two lines to draw. Um, you can also remember it as like uh, the, the number nine almost, except you don't complete the line. It curves around like so. Uh, and then take that idea of the thumbs down mitten and have it kind of start right here uh, like it's hooked into uh, that curly Q. It comes down like this, and this is the thumb of the uh, mitten. And just a little bit of a uh, curve, an extra curve right there as it comes around. I mean, the, these lines are considerably more complicated if you want to do a photo reel drawing of an ear. But uh, my feeling is most of the time in a drawing like this, you don't need it to be that detailed. I think a, maybe a secondary line may come in here. Uh, you know, we can do a little bit of shading. Uh, this in here gets sort of tucked in. But, but primarily, I really do believe that it, it's based uh, on these two main lines. So if you're ever drawing from a great distance um, the human ear, if you get that line in there and then again the thumbs down mitten. <laughs> what a weird image. Uh, I think that will help you uh, uh, get a, a decent looking ear for a face in profile uh, pretty much every time. You know, and different people have different shaped ears, uh, um, but uh, I find most of them will come down to those two basic lines. Well, I hope that that was uh, helpful for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull back and show you the whole image so you can see what it looks like. All right, well, I hope you found that helpful. Although I'm sure some of you were like, thumbs down, mitten, what are you talking about? <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, it was the best I could come up with. Anyway, um, this is, of course, Brody from my uh, graphic novel series, Brody's Ghost. Big thank you to anyone who has picked that up. And thanks just for watching the videos, for subscribing, for leaving comments, for, you know, embedding some of my videos over on Facebook or whatever. Uh, I just greatly, greatly appreciate your support. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and lay the pencil down. Thank you once again for watching this video. I hope you found it useful, and I will be back with another one real soon.